PFSense uh, scenario. Uh, if I fly over to my PFSense box here, you can see that I've got uh, a WAN and I've got two LAN networks, a 10 network and a 50 network. Now, one of the interesting things about uh, PFSense is that if we go to the firewall rules and we, we take a look at the LAN, is that we have some rules that happen that are in here by default. Uh, not the fourth one, that's that's one that I've made. Uh, but the top three actually are in LAN by default. The the first one being an anti-lockout rule. And the next two are are there for not flim flams, but to allow all traffic out of the LAN network. Now by default we're gonna be sending everything out of this network out to the internet uh, and it works uh, but it's, it's not not really ideal because as soon as I add another network now all of a sudden I'm also allowing all the traffic from my LAN network into that network and that might not be the scenario that I'm, I'm actually wanting to set up uh, proper firewall rules would say that we need to set up something a little bit more specific so let's go to our opt one now when I go in here you're gonna see that I have actually made some rules um, but when you when you first set up a an opt one interface, all of the rules are actually going to be absent. There's not going to be anything in here, and you need you need to set these rules manually. Okay, so the first top two are actually turned off rules. They are curiously very similar to LAN. Had these been on, and I had these been on, I would have full internet connectivity, right? Uh, because we're allowing everything from this network out, but I don't want that. I want the people that are inside the the 50 network. I want to be a little bit more control over what they have access to. And right now, as far as I'm concerned, these users can only access the internet, and that's it. So we gotta make we have to make some specific rules for that. Let's go down to our our rule here, and let's take a look at how we built it. action is going to be pass and I'm choosing the interface uh, opt because that's the, that's the network that the 50 network is on IPv4 family the protocol I want is TCP UDP we have other protocols that we can choose uh, but I want to be very specific on the kind of traffic that's coming out from this network so I want it to be TCP UDP the source I want everybody that's connected into the opt one network to have internet access so the source I set as opt one net there are op other options but as you can see the only one that makes sense for us is opt one you could do any and that would work but I prefer to be more specific about where my traffic is coming from PFSense has a really nice feature when it comes to destination and so when we're going to the internet, I don't really care where it is right now. I'll, I'll put up and I'll put up other things to block that kind of traffic. But if I want to get to the internet, I do have some certain doorways I need to get through, and one of those doorways being port 80 HTTP. So the drop down over here, port 80. Uh, give it a good description, and then you're gonna save it. Now. We could go into the other other two rules and open those open those things up, but if we take a look at what the only thing that's really different for the the next two rules is that we're changing the ports. So do all of the same steps coming down, all of these same steps, and when you get to the destination port, change it. Go to four four three, go down, save it, create a new rule. Do everything exactly the same, come down, add DNS. And this is going to allow us to resolve out to the internet. Save it. Go back to our rules. And that is that is basic internet connectivity. If we if we jump over to our Windows machine, here we're on our Windows machine, as long as that machine is connected to the internet. There's no reason why this, or connected to the, the correct network, there's no reason why this machine shouldn't get out to the internet. Let's do a test.
let's go and do a flyby on my my blog so there you go so we are we are inside we've contacted the internet we've got all kinds of access that we need uh, and now it's available to we can do other things in pfSense to block specific social networks uh, monitor with snort and all kinds of cool things we can do in pfSense all right thanks for watching